The bluefin tuna is one of the largest predators of the sea, measuring well over 4 meters and weighing more than 750 kilograms. It's a warm-blooded, boned fish that can swim up to 90 kilometers per hour. Annually, they migrate thousands of miles, crossing the world's oceans. For millennia, mankind has fished for the bluefin. Some of the traditional fishing techniques are still being used today. Commercial fishing techniques were launched in the 50s. Ever since, bluefin tuna stocks have been reduced by 97% and more fishing vessels are being built right now. Corporate fisheries are using the purse sign technique in which they catch entire schools of tuna which are then fattened in cages. Almost every country in the Mediterranean is hunting bluefin tuna. Tuna farms are incredibly wasteful. They use up to 25 kilograms of fish to fatten the bluefin by only one kilogram. So every time you eat bluefin tuna, you could have dinner with 25 friends. The bluefin feeds on small fish such as anchovy and mackerel. But because we've created such a distorted ecosystem, these fish stocks are also crashing. The tuna farms need to import tons of bait fish from other parts of the world to fatten the bluefin. International laws dictate that a bluefin has to weigh at least 30 kilograms before slaughter, guaranteeing at least one reproduction cycle. That's because a tuna is sexually active from five years of age. But in reality, the tunas are secretly caught and fattened in farms. But there's more. Fishermen are using drift nets and long lines which indiscriminately kill sea turtles, birds, sharks and dolphins on their way. For instance, Portuguese swordfish longliners catch for every ton of swordfish a blue shark bycatch which can weigh up to three tons. Specialists estimate that the real Mediterranean catch is four times the maximum quota. The main reason is because there is almost no enforcement of the international fishing laws and most of the catches are illegal. CITES, the convention that regulates the international trade of endangered species, can ban the trade in bluefin tuna. But Japan, the biggest market for tuna sushi, is being accused of aggressive lobbying and buying the votes of poor countries. Furthermore, there's the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, ICAT, setting higher quotas than their own scientists advise. Almost every fisherman loses money when fishing for bluefin tuna. In fact, without EU subsidies, bluefin tuna fishing wouldn't be possible. In the last 10 years, the EU gave the industry more than 2 billion euro, including money to build new vessels. So if you live in the European Union, your money is being spent to catch an endangered species. Sushi is the main reason the bluefin is facing extinction. By far the biggest market for the bluefin is Japan. Meguro sushi is extremely popular with the Japanese, while the use of bluefin is a trend. Because up until 20 years ago, bluefin was considered unclean. Recently, one single bluefin clocked in at 300,000 euro. The less bluefin tuners that are left in the oceans, the more they will cost, also known as the economies of extinction. The Mitsubishi Corporation is stocking 20,000 tons of bluefin tuna every year. They now control nearly half of the market worldwide. Chances are that the last bluefin tuna will die in 2012. If the bluefin becomes extinct, it could have a major impact on the fragile ecosystems of our oceans. These ecosystems absorb most of the global warming and gives us up to 80% of our oxygen. If the oceans die, we die. We have one year to save the bluefin.